Gauteng police have destroyed hundreds of thousands of litres of confiscated alcohol at the Johannesburg Central Police Station this morning. The alcohol was confiscated during various raids of illegal liquor outlets conducted in different parts of the province the last week. Now, Provincial Police Commissioner Lieutenant General Tommy Mtombeni says illegal liquor outlets are a major concern as they are a contribution to contact crime including rape, murder, attempted murder and assault. We have seen that um, uh, we have confiscated this liquor and uh, this confiscation is contributing towards the reduction of your contact crimes, your murders, your attempted murders, your assault uh, with intent to do, do grievous body harm and also assault because the generators or the, the, the causative factors for these crimes will find that this argument when people are not sober. So today we are here, we are seeing the destruction of um, uh, the beer. It's uh, over 10 million milliliters. The ciders is over 2 million uh, uh, milliliters. The spirit is uh, 145,088 milliliters. So we are seeing a destruction of uh, over 18 million milliliters of liquor today. We are saying uh, thank you to the law enforcement agency, thank you to our partners, uh, thank you uh, to the communities, those who have provided the information, still committed or will continue with these operational activities going towards the festive season will see more often of the operational activities as we ensure that the communities are and they feel safe. Now on the same breath, the Chief Executive Officer of the Consumer Goods Council of South Africa, Zintle Kigwe, has warned the public against the consumption of counterfeit goods and buying illicit alcohol. Kigwe says consumption of counterfeit goods could lead to health risks while participation in buying illicit alcohol is a crime. Ama po yisi spunda zon sase khao tenga se kutin ngwa ba yo chwa alo buga tep ta tuwe zinda wene za shluge ene zok temo goma ez da yisi chwa alo ngonge mte to gule spunda zwe. Ukomishano ama po yisi gule spunda zwe otomi mtombeni e kaza gaba anzi ngu sugla na mta anje ushuga nje. Illicit and counterfeit is those individuals are not contributing to the to, to SARS. They're not paying taxes. They're not paying um, uh, 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 regulations. They're not adhering to them. So it's important for us, so, so that our country uh, can use these funds to govern, so that we can have service delivery. So our members, at the same time, our members are losing uh, um, sustainability, which is going to have impact on employment. So we work closely with the police, as you had earlier on. We have developed the app. The app, why we developed the app? Because we are the producers also of the barcode, not the barcode that is on the product. We, in my organization, from a GS1 perspective, we are producing all this barcode. We issue them to our members. And when we're issuing a barcode, we're saying, maybe this is a bread, I'm making an example, or a cider of a, a Castle Light. We, we know it's belonging to who's the brand owner, when was it manufactured, where was it manufactured, what are the content offered. So we, we have all of that information. So we're working closely with the police. We have been training them um, in the last month. We're training them to use the app so that they can be able to identify illicit and non-illicit alcohol, counterfeit and non-counterfeit alcohol. As you had earlier on, the, the, the policeman was identifying to say they are able to identify which alcohol is here in the country uh, illegally, which one is not here illegally. Wakuwa ngogutu zo kubega lo mkakaso kasele zindawene zo kutemogoma ukunsegi isu kutiabe kabantu abapulu mteto. As in the TV, Gingutta would pungulangi bigger, is at Johannesburg.